Hello YouTube and welcome to changing the rear tires on the John Deere 112. This will be about a one hour video, two parts, half hour each part. Just kidding. <laughs> Somebody already clicked off the video. It ain't fun, I don't want to do it. Well you hear in the background over there, it's an old farm hall. I think it needs the governor adjusted, but here we go. We got our bumper jack in there. Get a glove on. We want to keep these clips real short. We're not going to show all the tire changing, but we want to show this. We do have a video on this changing a car tire. Okay, see how it popped that bead? Okay, we won't repeat the other side. You get the idea. That was just a short clip of how that works. I have ground the back of the jack. Get down here. I have ground the jack before to fit the curve of the rim. I have to make a better handle for this. There we go. I have ground this to fit the rim a little better. And this is welded on because I got tired of it falling off and losing it. This is the kind that went in the 70s with a slot and a buffer. It fits right in a hole where the ball goes. So there we go. That clip was too long. Let's get to work. Okay, we're moving on inside. It is muddy out there. These are Harbor Freight and they are way better than what the picture shows. Let's get this in the camera. These are way better than what the picture on the website shows. Trust me, they're way smoother. Uh, they don't even look like this on the end. Here's your other end, which I have in there, which I hooked over the tire. Okay, and you see this step in the rim? Make sure you have your tire down below that step. So it's down below this right in here. And they usually come up better on the front side. Now all we're gonna do is, while we're holding that down, we're gonna use not the hook end, but the other end. We're gonna do such like that. See how I did that? One more and then we'll be enough of this clip. Way easier than two screwdrivers. There's your hook end to do the first one. Make sure you stay down, as you can see that on camera. Make sure you stay down below this lip. That's what makes the rim smaller and the tire bigger. That's the whole secret getting things off. I usually don't use any soap, slippery taking them off because you're fighting it, mess is sliding all over. So that's it for that clip. I hope you can hear that tractor over there. I think it needs the governor adjusted. It's running up and down. But on with the show. Stay tuned. Okay, we did get this far. Here's the whole idea is to get over here and go like that. So that it will scratch the paint. If you can, you can get down inside your rim, you'll see your slot of your rim. You see where I went all the way in there? And just, just keep doing that. We'll do that off camera. Okay, it's off. I'm out of breath. This is what I was taught about. Get down in this hole like here and use it to pry. And we're going to paint these and touch these up. I wouldn't have done it that way if I wasn't going to touch them up or have paint for it. So. That's the best way I get them off, like a car tire. They're a lot harder on a smaller tire though. So, back to work. We're not gonna show the new tire being installed, but we will put it side by side with an old one on the tractor so you can see the height difference, how tall they are compared to each other. I put a little bit of this with a brush right on the back side of there so don't squish through or the kind that comes in a can with a brush on it so I always put a little sealer on non-hardening here you go and we're done with the back tires I have a picture I had to use ratchet straps 
I gave up on this one. So I was going to have to go to the tire place. And I tried it again this morning. I worked on it all day yesterday. Finally got the stretch down off the seal. I just don't have a big enough air compressor. Excuse the weed eating. Everybody's doing yard work. These are directional. See this V? Don't look at anything in there. See this V? V's always face forward. See how this half one is angled to go forward? See that? They are directional. I ask and I'm just sure by looking at it. Just like a regular tractor tire, your V's go, the point goes forward. So there you go. Snap a couple, maybe a couple more pictures, and this is the end of doing the rear tires. There'll be a separate video on the front. And thanks again for watching.